Hi students, in this lecture, I'm going to discuss problems based on rolling motion. Let us see first one. See the question given. A disc of mass 1 kg and radius 1 meter is placed over a plank of mass 1 kg. There is sufficient friction between the disc and the plank to prevent slipping. A force F equal to 12 Newton is applied at the center of the disc. Then acceleration of the plank, friction force between disc and the plank. Let's see how to start. So both having same mass disc applying a force of 12 Newton. Right. Let us see how to start. First note down the given data and that given diagram. So it is given that there is a plan and this is now this applying force that is a pass through center and that is given 12 Newton mass for both the same that is 1 kg radius is given 1 meter so we have to find acceleration of the plank and frictional force between these two. Given ground is small. So here mu value is zero. Right. Now see how to start the problem. <coughs> so condition given that it is rolling. Okay. It is rolling. That means rolling without slipping. So rolling means it is a combination of a translation and rotation. So translation of center of mass and rotation about center of mass. Okay. So taking force equation for translation and torque equation for rotation about center of mass. Let us focus now three body diagram. Coming to further disk. For the disc applied force that is a 12 Newton. Let us take frictional force that is left side. Let us take frictional force. Take it as left side that is small f. Since it is now rolling without slipping, friction will be starting. Okay. Next, coming to on the plank frictional force, value will be same, direction will be opposite. Direction will be opposite. It is now F like this. Okay. So plank is having only translatory motion. So we can write force equation for the plank, F equal to M A. Mass given 1, acceleration take it as A. So equation 1. This is for the plan. Now coming to for disk. Focus now force equation for center of mass. Net force. This is 12 and this is F. So net value 12 minus F. That is equal to M into A. M is 1. Acceleration of center of mass. So we are taking the force equation for center of mass. <laughs> okay. Right. Next. Now focus torque equation for disc about center of mass. When we take about center of mass because of applied force, no torque. Torque is only because of friction. And this friction provides torque that is clockwise. We can say clockwise. Okay. So you have fin to R. And R value is 1. So F into R. That is equal to I into alpha. 
I value m r square by 2, m is 1, r square, m r square by 2 into alpha. Okay. Now see calculation part. First focus here, number of unknowns. Frictional force is unknown, A unknown, ACM is unknown, right? And alpha. See any connection between A and ACM, okay? So initially, disc was placed here. So now for contact point, velocity must be same as that of contact surface, okay? So ACM, right side. R alpha, rotation is now clockwise. So R alpha will be left side. So for contact point, what we can write here? ACM minus R alpha, that should be equal to A, acceleration of the plan. Okay. Relation between ACM cross check once, ACM right side. R alpha per contact point that is left side. Net to value ACM minus R alpha. That should be equal to acceleration of the plan. That is A. Now simplify. And see what else we can write here. In the place of ACM, 12 minus F, I can write that. In the place of alpha, I can write 2F, right? So ACM, I am writing here 12 minus F. In the place of ACM minus R value is 1. In the place of alpha, from here, writing 2F. Writing 2F, that is equal to, in the place of A, it is F from equation 1. So writing here F. Now this is in time terms of only friction. Then say what is the answer? Minus F minus 2F. This is minus 3F. Minus 3F plus F, 4F. 4F is equal to 12. That means F equal to F equal to 3. So 3 Newton. Okay. That means frictional force is now 3. And frictional force 3 means A value. Now A value will be F equal to A. That means acceleration of the plank. It is 3 meter per second square. <clears throat> it is 3 meter per second square. Right. And see what else we can calculate. We got frictional force. We got acceleration of the plan. And next, what else? If you want alpha value, alpha value, F value 3. So alpha value 6, right? From this equation alpha, F is 3, 3 into 2, 6. So 6 radian per second square. Okay. Let's see what else left here. F is over, A is over, ACM, right? ACM is left. ACM, how much? 12 minus F, right? F value 3. That means ACM. ACM is now 12 minus, that is 9. So 9 meter per second square. So like this, we can find all values. Okay. Next, see the next problem. Let's see what is given. A solid sphere of mass M is released from rest from the rim of a hemispherical cup so that it rolls along the surface. If the rim of the hemisphere is kept horizontal, find the normal force exerted by the cup on the ball 
when the ball reaches bottom of the cup given salt sphere okay so when it reaches the bottom force by the cup normal force let us see how to start so first make the diagram for the given data It is a hemispherical cup. Now we are releasing one salt sphere. Let us take now at this level. Suppose this radius is a capital R and this is now small one. Okay. So when we release from here, condition given that it rolls. When it reaches the bottom, when it reaches the bottom, normal force by the cup on the sphere. Okay. First, focus a free body diagram at the bottom. Because we want to calculate normal reaction by the cup. Normal reaction by the cup, that is upwards, means towards center of the cup, Mg downwards. And if you observe carefully, center of the sphere is a following now subtler path. It follows now subtler path of radius of radius r minus r. So we have to focus who is providing centripetal force. Now in this centripetal force is n minus mg. So centripetal force is n minus mg. The centripetal force is equal to mass into centripetal acceleration. So V square by radius is R minus R. And here V means velocity of center of mass, Vc. Now in this, if we know Vc value, then we can find normal reaction. So to find Vc value, now we are using conservation of mechanical energy. You can see speed is now coming down. So it is losing now gravitational potential energy. So loss in the gravitational potential energy m g it is coming down by a distance. See how much it, it was at a height of r minus r right from here. From here at what height it is. It was at a height of r minus r. So loss in the gravitational potential energy. This loss converts into kinetic energy. And while taking kinetic energy, you must be very careful because it is now rolling, right? Then having translation kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. It is equal to a half m Vc square plus half I omega square. Now in this case, for this contact point, there is no velocity, right? When this is rolling for contact point, there is no velocity. That means Vcm is equal to R omega. Okay. And if you substitute that here, we are going to get it is a half m vc square into 1 plus beta. This is what we have discussed in earlier lecture, right? Since it is now salt sphere, beta value 2 by 5. Okay. So this is now mg into r minus r. m gets cancelled. Or you can do one thing directly you can take in the place of m v c square what is the value in the place of m v c square get from here or directly m v c square by r minus r okay i'm calculating from here m v c square upon r minus r 
R minus R. Remaining is how much? Two, five, so 10. 10 EMG upon seven. Cross check once. M V square by R minus R. Remaining is now EMG is here. Two, five, 10. 10 MG by seven, okay? Substitute that here. N equal to EMG plus MV square by R minus R. 10 MG by seven. That is out seven plus 10, 17. 17 by seven EMG, okay? That is the normal force exerted by the cup on the sphere, okay? So here we have taken one condition that is law of conservation of mechanical energy. Second one, we have taken force equation at the bottom, right? Let us see the next problem. A halo sphere of radius R lies on a smooth horizontal surface given a halo sphere and it is a smooth surface horizontal. It is pulled by a horizontal force acting tangentially from the highest point. Find the distance traveled by the sphere during the time it makes one full rotation. Okay. So given halo sphere applying force tangentially at the highest point. Let us see how to calculate distance traveled by sphere. So here distance traveled by sphere means it is by center of the sphere. Okay. Let us see how to start. Given a halo sphere. Halo sphere, it is a halo sphere placed on a small surface, condition even small, applying a force, applying a force at that the highest point tangential. Suppose it is F. So we want to calculate distance moved by center of the sphere. By the time it completes one rotation, okay, let us see, completes one rotation, then what we can do here, first of all, focus a force equation, it is now smooth, no friction, so applied force becomes now net force, so net force equal to mass into acceleration, so acceleration of center of mass. Okay, next. Because of this force, now torque is produced about center of mass. And see how much it is? It is F into R. That is equal to I into alpha and I value. Halo sphere 2 by 3 M R square. I into alpha. Okay. 1R gets cancelled, we get the value of alpha, that is 3F by 2MR, 3F by 2MR, that is alpha. Right, next see what else we can do, we want to calculate distance traveled by center of the sphere, that means it is equal to initial velocity zero. So directly a half ACM into T square. So it is a half ACM. ACM is F by M into T square. This is what we have to calculate. So here what I am doing is condition given that by that time, it completes one rotation. One rotation means, so theta equal to T 
theta equal to 2 pi. Since it starts from rest, theta equal to half alpha t square, alpha value 3f by 2mr half alpha t square. Okay. Then see from here how to get this one. Or we can do one thing. In the place of half, half is here, t square, f by m. Distance travel by center of the sphere, that is yes, m. What else left here? See carefully once. Half, f by m, t square. Remaining is now 3 by 2r, right? See carefully once. 3 by 2r, that is equal to 2 pi. That means this value how much now? It is equal to 2 pi and this is 2 or 4 r, sorry, 4 pi r. 4 pi r upon 3. This is now distance traveled by center of the hollow sphere. So here condition is it is not rolling without slipping. It is rolling with the slipping because here no friction. Okay. So we have taken force equation for a hollow sphere, torque equation for a hollow sphere, then finding alpha, then finding the distance traveled by center of the sphere, right? Let us focus now next problem. Let's see what is given. A solid sphere of mass half kg is kept on a horizontal surface. The coefficient of static friction between the surfaces in contact is 2 by 7. What maximum force can be applied at the highest point in the horizontal direction so that the sphere does not slip on the surface? Okay. So asking maximum force that can be applied. Let us see. Condition rolling without slipping. Given salt spear. Applying a force at the highest point. And maximum force how much? This is what we have to calculate, right? Add frictional force. Assume that it is a forward. Frictional force, assume it is a forward. It is now F limiting because when this is a maximum force, frictional force is now limiting value. Means if we apply force beyond this, then slipping starts. Okay. This is now limiting value. Now see what we can write. Limiting value is known. Okay. So write force equation for translatory motion. F plus FL. That is equal to M into ACM. Okay. Equation 1. Now focus torque equation. Because of this applied force, torque is clockwise. Because of friction, torque is anti-clockwise. And I can write here, F into R minus FL into R is equal to I into alpha. And I value 2 by 5 M R square into alpha. In the place of alpha, I can write, ACM by R. That means now this becomes F minus FL is equal to 2 by 5, 2 by 5 M ACM, right? Because R gets cancelled here. Now simplify. We want to calculate F, okay? Then let us take 1 plus 2. 
then see fl fl gets cancelled 2f is equal to 1 plus 2 by 5 7 by 5 into m a c m okay right now what we can do here in the place of m a c m i'm taking first equation in the place of m a c m m a c m i'm writing 10 f by 7 10 f by 7 cross check once m a c m in the place of that 10 f by 7 right so 10 f by 7 minus f see how much 10 f by 7 minus f that is 3 f by 7 right minus 1 10 minus 7 3 3 f by 7 that is equal to f limiting so f value 7 by 3 limiting friction it is equal to mu s into mg mu s that is given now 2 by 7 2 by 7 mu s m value half kg mu s m g g value 10 okay 2, 2 gets cancelled, 7, 7 gets cancelled. It is now 10 by 3. That is a maximum force we can apply so that means for this force what happens is it is about to slip, not slipping. Means up to this force, it rolls without slipping. This is a maximum force. Right? So I hope you got a clarity. So main thing, whenever question given basing on rolling, focus torque equation about center of mass, then force equation for center of mass. So force equation, torque equation. And remaining only calculation part, nothing else. Right?